Hey YouTube, it's Dem Boys, B3 and Maddie Matt here, back to another punching. Yeah, because I can't kick right now, I can't reach too high. <laughs> graphic novel review. We got a good trade for you today. Aquaman, Volume 5. Sea of Storms. Sea of Storms. Oh guys, this was awesome. Yeah, I'm ex I'm excited to see where it goes because we have a new writer. Mm -hmm. Jeff Do Parker yeah. has replaced Jeff Jones. And uh but it's, it's a good change. It is, actually. He, he did a really good job with this one, I think. I feel like he might have been a little insecure about it, though. Going after Jeff Johns? Yeah. He was like, oh, man, we need some guest stars. Wonder Woman, Swamp Thing. That, you know, that, that's, that's actually... That's those sales. I didn't think about that, but you're probably right. That <laughs> people did probably start and go, wait, no Jeff Johns? I mean, <laughs> Jeff Johns is the guy. The, he, he's the, the man. Guy. He's the man, <laughs> man. He's, he's DC's golden boy right now. That's true. But I gotta say, this one did a fantastic job following up in Jeff Johns' footsteps, and I really hope that it keeps up the same uh, same quality. Yeah. First up, we have like a diver for some underwater city that's not Atlantean, but made it's by surface, surface dwellers for research on the Atlanteans and probing that kind of stuff. And Doctor okay. Shin's part of this organization. Triton Base, right? Is that what yeah, it's called? Yeah, Triton Base. Triton Base. And then that guy gets eaten up, and by the end of this, he's turned into some hybrid creature. Yeah. What is the hybrid creature? The it's not the Shaggy Man, he, is it? No, it's not the Shaggy Man. He had a so. he had a bunch of uh, aquatic DNA grafted into him, essentially, uh, to make him a rival to Aquaman, effectively. But at the end of the book, it looks like the Shaggy Man's eyes. So I I don't know the Shaggy Man's origin. I don't either. It might be, but he was like grafting electric eels and stuff to him, so yeah. I doubt it. I don't think so. But we'll see. We have neither of us has read Volume Six yet. He started it, but I haven't. Yeah, it's been a little busy the last couple of weeks with and the powers out. <laughs> yeah, that makes Which it pretty difficult to read outside. inside and sweaty in the Georgia humidity. It's great, especially next to the pond. Yeah, at least <laughs> at least it's a good view for us, not you guys. You can see our ugly mugs in a door. But yeah, sorry about that. We have a big yard, trees, pond, and it's a, it's great. <laughs> so, um, we'll go ahead and dive into the story. Then we've uh, we've kept you waiting. Um, yeah, so after pass that guy, then we get to we get to a. A really one of my favorite parts of this whole thing. Oh, there's which, a short little snippet. There's a short snippet where Arthur returns to the mainland, back to his lighthouse with Mira, and you know, it's great. And then they run into the officer friend that's been looking after their dog, and she's like, hey, are you coming to the, the high school reunion? No, oh, before she even said high school reunion, I knew that's what it would be. But it was a nice little light-hearted bit, because volume four was, like, really dark. Yeah. <laughs> and then that was just a nice little bit. People were like... Hey, when our boat was mysteriously pulled to shore, was that you, dude? It was like, or like, what? when our whale watching business was dying because pods of whales stopped showing up, did you get them to come back? <laughs> How yes. about that Spanish galleon loaded down with treasure and historical artifacts? Did you send that our way? Oh, man. Yes. What a... It was just fun. Mayor was asking about his high school girlfriends and stuff. It was, it was embarrassing fun. for him. And it was, it was very fun. A little... A little, little lighthearted. Bit. And it was actually, I think... It fit well with the idea that Arthur's distracted right now, and his trident gets stolen, unbeknownst to him. Yeah, not even by a bad guy, just a dumb guy. Just a scientist <laughs> trying to experiment on some stuff. So he stole the trident, opened up a gateway to Atlantis's hell, where they stored these giant born, like, Gaia's Except children it's, monsters. it's not really Atlantis's hell, it's a gate to Tartarus that they seal, because this is the, the trident of Poseidon. Yeah. Which like, is why Diana knows all about this stuff. Yeah, but it's like a specific part of hell just for these creatures. Mm -hmm. And Hercules was stuck down there, and he went insane in there. Because he was tormented by demons for, you know, yeah. eons. He was helping Atlantis seal them up, and he got sealed in, too. So he came out a little salty. Had to fight her, and then he told Wonder Woman about it, because that's her half-brother. Mm -hmm. And he and Wonder Woman went to get the remainder of these. And then Wonder Woman and Mera went to get the ones they didn't get. And Mera was, nice, was awesome, yeah. Because they're both totally willing to kill these things. Oh, yeah, it was great. So like, they just too powerful slaughtered like them. Because Aquaman was like, don't kill any of them. Wonder Woman was like, why? They're not they're even demons. people. <laughs> yeah. And Mira, of course, uh, we know Mira. She didn't hesitate to slaughter them. Yeah, they... Wonder Woman punched a hole in the ocean floor, opened up this, like, magma crater, and then Mera <laughs> just funneled them all into it. Incinerated <laughs> all of them. Insane. They're great. I want to see them team up more. Be because they seem very along the same lines. Yeah, they, they're def <laughs> they even like, come from the same mythology. I so. know. They're kind of like sisters a little bit in my mind. It's pretty cool. But then his favorite part comes at the Swamp end. Swamp Thing! <laughs> his swamp buddy shows up. I love Swamp Thing. But yeah, so there was like this big batch of algae that just showed up and then like... Sort of wiping out life in the Pacific. Yeah, it caused like a big oxygen pocket, which could have been like a bomb. And then this like moss creature formed. 
Mm -hmm. And Swamp Thing was like, wait, I don't know about no moss creature. Because Aquaman comes to beat the crap out of Swamp Thing because he thinks Swamp Thing's killing the coral reef. Because it's a massive bit of the green. <laughs> and Swamp Thing's like, you literally can't hurt me. I am plant life on this planet. You can't punch me to death. Aquaman just kept trying Aquaman to Aquaman tries. Him. He tries really hard. It kind of makes Aquaman... for effort. I'm not going to lie. It makes Aquaman look... Like an idiot. ...pretty thick-headed. And he's normally the open-minded... Diplomat. Yeah. I mean, that's his character. So this did step away from that a little bit, and that was irritating to me. But I got to see my boy Swamp Thing just kind of like not no. give a shit about Aquaman. He was like, you, I don't care. <laughs> and he was like, wait, you're saying there's a moss creature, but I can't sense it? That's weird. So he goes to stop it. turns into like this seaweed Swamp Thing, which was kind of swag. Mm -hmm. and, then he's, and then he finds out that since he destroyed the Parliament of Trees or something, which I didn't know about. Last time I saw the Parliament of Trees, they were, like, becoming babies because he saved them from Anton Arcane or something. I haven't read anything since Volume 3 of Swamp Thing. You're a bad fan. No, it's because that's where Scott Snyder stopped writing for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I hey, it could, be, it could be like this, where Jeff John stopped writing and it's still just, good, just as good. Yeah, but I haven't heard a single thing about post-Scott Snyder, but... Okay, that's it fair. was the best thing in the New 52 when he was writing it, apparently. Apparently it was above Batman and Animal Man, which were the other top twos. Wow. And you've been reading Batman, so you I know that been. means it's good. Wow. Uh, so. But I, I really enjoyed it. They beat that thing, and it was like a, the plant life on Earth trying to form a new parliament-type creature. And it was like running amok mm -hmm. because there wasn't the parliament to keep the balance. But uh, Aquaman and Swamp Thing do end, all, end on good terms. Not really. <laughs> not, not really. Aquaman's like, like, I don't want to see you in my kingdom again. And Swamp Thing's like, well, plant life's been on the ocean floor longer than people, so it's really my kingdom if you think about it. But I'm willing to share it with you. And then he leaves. <laughs> yeah, he ends up like, but don't push it. That's the Swamp Thing, like, yeah, don't push it. He gets the last word. You'd almost think it was a Swamp Thing comic because he gets the first and last word and all the ones in between, almost. It's true. Except I'd... for when Aquaman alerts into the presence of the creature. That's it. Yeah. So only... it really was more of a swamp. I think it was it a swamp thing uh, issue. Was it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It issue must... thirty two of Swamp Thing. It must have been like part of it was in Aquaman, and then it concluded in Swamp Thing. Yeah, I was thinking that it might be too, but I never checked. So that would explain Arthur kind of coming in and being a bit of a dick munch, just because the writer was yeah. writing Aquaman, he was writing Swamp Thing. <laughs> that's that's a good point. We should have checked that earlier. I meant to, but I didn't do it. I didn't think about it. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, next time we got more New 52. Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah, it is going to be good because it's Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo on Batman Volume 3, Death of the Family. Oh, guys. I mean, yeah, we got to uh, get into this. I've been trying to get him to read it. Now he finally got fuck. it. fuck. So I can, I can get you more of these now, Thank more you. Batman stuff. I need more. It's I so good. <laughs> I need to know. And the doggy's here. Hello, Pip. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so next time, Batman Volume 3, Death of the Family. This has been Aquaman Volume 5, Sea of Storms. Sorry we went a little longer than usual. We'll be yeah. trying to keep him about 10 minutes. We, yeah, we, we didn't do it in the last couple, and unfortunately I get a little excited about my Aquaman. He gets a little excited about his Aquaman. But uh, I can reel him in on this next one. So yeah, Sounds good. <laughs> That's it. Thank you all once again for your support. We'll see you all later. Bye, guys. Oh.